Here comes a pizza. I believe I've arranged everything. You see. Hey Johnny, we need a pizza cutter. I wish I got you last time. On guard, I'll let you try my Wu-Tang style. Wait a minute. Can we use something a little more appropriate? Thank you. Wu-Tang is for the children. We teach the children. You know what I mean? So the first thing I did was to transfer the drawing to the saw blade. As you can see, I used the hole in the middle of the saw to my advantage. Next was to get my metal cutting bandsaw. This thing makes easy work of a saw blade, as you can see. I used the saw and I cut out as much of the design as I could. Just remember, by adding pressure to the back of the blade, you can use it to roughly form rounded shapes. That's what I did right here for the hard to reach places. Now it's starting to take shape. Next up, I grabbed my heavy-duty rotary tool and some safety glasses. I used it to get into the smaller areas I couldn't reach with the saw. Brush up, brush up, brush up. Here's the new iPana. I chose a stone bit because it didn't take off too much metal at once, and I could slowly work my way to the outline of the design. I also used it to round over any sharp corners where my hands would hold the blade. Now it was time to evenly grind down both sides of the cutter on my belt grinder. I also ground down any other spot that was left rough by the bandsaw. Look at that, nice and even. I then used my palm sander with 150 grit sandpaper to sand down and clean any dirt or oil that may have been left on the blade. Now that I have a nice matte finish, it's time to grind the bevel in before heat treat. I grind down the bevel to about 85% of the final thickness so the edge doesn't warp in the heat treat. I used an old 100 grip belt for this. Again, not to take off too much metal too quickly. I guess you could say I just beveled up. I light the forge and wait for it to get nice and hot before I put the blade in.
After I put the blade in, it heats up rather quickly. So once it's cherry red, I quench it in oil to cool it down. Or at least I try to. Get, 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 get in there. There we go. Here we go. After that, the blade is super brittle, so now it's on to tempering. For this, I put it in the oven at 400 degrees for two hours to soften the metal enough to hold an edge but not crack. Once tempered, I use my palm sander again to sand down any scaling that happened during the heat treat and to prep it for buffing. Now it was time to finish grinding the bevel down to its final thickness. For this, I used an A45 Trizac belt, which is roughly the equivalent to about a 400 grip belt for a nice finish. Next I use my buffer to polish it up and give it a nice shine. Finally, I use the strop side of my knife sharpener to make it nice and sharp. How sharp you ask? So there you have it, the Wu-Tang Pizza Cutter. Now let's go see if this thing cuts some pizza. Look at it. Shine. So here it is, the Wu-Tang Pizza Cutter. I think it came out pretty cool. So when I finished this up, I also found that it doubles as a bottle opener. So the idea just popped in my head one day, what would be the coolest thing to make a pizza cutter out of? So the first thing I thought of was the Wu-Tang Clan logo. It ended up being perfect. And then I thought, what was I gonna make it out of? I saw a lot of people making knives out of old saw blades, so I figured that would probably be the best material to use. So once I had one, I started cutting it up. So I'd like to thank Jimmy Doresta for Just giving me the saw blade, letting me shoot in his shop, and starring in the video. Thank you, dude. I hope you dug the video, and as always, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And just to make it easy, you can subscribe by clicking this button and watching some old videos with this button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.